Hello there, people of the internet. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a Halloween makeup tutorial today. So exciting because it's October, so it's time for a new couple tutorials for you guys. So today's look is gonna be inspired by this like digital art piece. Don't know where it's from. I try to make this as short and concise as possible. My videos always tend to be like 20 minutes or longer, but I'm gonna try to just cramp it down to like 10 minutes. Um, If you wanna see me do this look, then just keep watching. And I think about killing myself and I love myself way more than I love you, so. Okay, so I'm looking at this photo right now and it looks like we're gonna need to start off with a white face paint base. However, before we do that, I'm gonna wanna stick my eyebrows down. I'm not gonna be able to make my eyebrows completely disappear. I'm very bad at doing that, but I just want them to be at least flat to my face so I can hopefully try to somewhat cover them up. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. So I'm gonna do the good old soap brow trick. So this is just some pear soap. And basically we're gonna take some water. I'm just gonna dip it on my finger and put it on the soap. I'm just gonna swirl it around. And then I'm just going to be taking a spoolie. I'm gonna be swirling that all up in there and then just applying it onto my eyebrows. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push the hairs like up so then they hopefully just lay more flat on my face. Now we're just gonna wait for these to dry and while we're waiting for them to dry, I'm just gonna prime my face. Okay, so something else that I'm gonna recommend that you do is if you have any spots, like for example, about this big pimple right here, try to conceal them beforehand. You don't have to do foundation or anything, but just because these ones are gonna be a little bit more difficult to cover, you know, you, you understand what I'm saying. Next, I'm also going to be putting concealer over top of the brow. Now that we look like this, I'm going to be taking like a regular beauty makeup sponge that no one ever uses anymore because everyone's obsessed with beauty blenders. This is just a cream-based paint. I also have this body paint. However, this one always goes on like super splotchy. So I'm gonna try this one. It's basically just gonna be trying to cover my whole face. So this is one layer. Um, I might try to add some of this on top to see if it gives me more coverage. Yeah. If you did have a white face powder, this would be the time to use it. I kind of look like little baby's ice cream. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I'm going to be using just a white eyeshadow because I don't actually have a white face powder. So now that we look absolutely like insane and crazy, um, I guess it's time to start with the black. So I just have this little palette. Gonna go in with the black paint. You can make this super messy. It really isn't supposed to look neat. So just go in like a circle-ish around your eye. So as I'm doing this, I'm gonna wanna kinda try to make some like points kinda coming out. Once we've got that, we're also gonna do some black along the bottom part of the nose. Okay, before I move on to any more of the details, I'm gonna put in my eye contacts because they make my eyes water hella. So I'm gonna do that first and then come back. I look absolutely insane right now. So now we're going to be taking some flat brushes, super flat at the top or super, super tiny. And I'm going to be going in with mixtures of paint and eyeshadow and just creating lines up my face. So you're just gonna kind of trail the lines off. Maybe you can like fork a few, kind of make it look like almost lightning bolts or veins. I don't know. So I've added a bunch of little lines. I'm just gonna stick to black for now. I actually think that I wanna add some blue and red in later, but I'm gonna finish all the black parts first and then add the tinier details on later, you know what I mean? We're gonna move on to the mouth. We're going to be taking black and kind of drawing our smile lines out. Now we just fill it in with some black, just super messy, kind of like the eyes. Okay, now I'm going to be going back in with that black eyeshadow and just putting that in the center. Now 
I'm going back in with my black paint and my little brush and doing more stroke lines. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. I'm going to be adding in similar details to the black ones. I'm just going to be doing it in a red and a blue color. And here you can see me taking a blue eyeshadow. I used kind of like a brighter blue because the dark blue was just looking the same as the black. And I'm just forking it out again. And whoop, we switch over to the red. There you go. So I tried to kind of focus the red on like this area because I'm going to add some fake blood. So wherever you're planning on kind of making like fake blood or something, try to make the red kind of be centered around there almost, if that makes sense. Now I'm going to be doing one of my favorite parts of a Halloween look and adding the gore or the blood into this look. So um, I'm going to go back to this trusty palette, take my red, take one of these lovely sponges, and I'm gonna dab the red around parts of my face. Now, before we get to using the actual fake blood, I'm going to line my waterline with some black and then put on mascara and just try to like really darken this area before I do the final touches. Decided my neck looked like kind of dumb, so I just added some black lines going down. Um, this is kind of like optional, but I think it just kind of adds to the look. Okay, now it's fake blood time. Um, I think I'm gonna add it here, here, Maybe a bit on the top of my head and maybe out of my nose, I think. I don't know. Taking just a brush, my nice gel blood. So what I like about this gel blood is that you can really like clump it on and it kind of hardens over almost looking like a scab. Okay, I'm just gonna do like final touches. I might change my hair, change my outfit, and then I'll be back for the final reveal. This wig makes me look like I have a big ass forehead, but um, it works. So here's the final look. You get real close. You can get it in there and see the blues and the reds. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'll be coming out with a few more Halloween tutorials. This one is very spooky. I didn't intend for it to get this spooky, but I always just end up making things like 10 times spookier than they need to be. I will see you in the next one. Soapy?